so we have discussed again about the number systems uh, last day since uh, some of you didn't have good uh, exposure to the number systems therefore we have discussed about number system last day and today what we are going to learn we are going to learn about uh, operating systems and five only basically this chapter is related to grade 6 and grade 7 this chapter is related to grade 6 and grade 7 but uh, if you are not coming to grade 6 or grade 7 so i just want to revise the some content that you have learned in grade 10 and uh, sorry grade 6 and 7 that is about files and folders and especially about the difference between the files and folders so difference between the files and folders i just want to uh, actually give you some idea about that then we can start about then we can start discussing about grade 8 content basically in grade 8 you have this thing 6 is belongs to grade 8 and then this is belongs to grade 8 and this is belongs to grade 8 other than these components all other components are in grade 6 and 7 so for those who are not coming grade 6 and 7 can you quickly write down this so very quickly not everything right you don't draw this that is not required just write down the note means so files and folders the difference let me first show this in my windows machine so how to create a file okay how to create a file in desktop easiest way to create file in desktop yes can anyone suggest what is the easiest way to create file in desktop right click yes right, right click, click new, new folder i'm asking how to create a file right not folder how to create file in the desktop so what is the easiest way right click new file yes new file no right click new and then you have to select a file type from this one text document yes right click new text document or contact or bitmap image or rich text document or compress zip folder or you can select word document excel document <coughs> likewise there are many document types so if you right click and go to new you can see more check check with your machine right click go to new you can see more components like word document excel document likewise okay let's create two let's create bitmap image and then right click new let's create text document and let's create three right click new uh, this time compress zip folder zip file zip file or zip folder okay so the first one the mid bitmap image let me right click and go to properties or you can select the file and press alt and enter file like a select karala Alt kai enter kai eka para ke huwa hari. Alt key and enter key. Here. Alt enter. First one. This is the first file. Then select second file. Alt enter. Select second file. Alt enter. And this is the second file properties. Third one. Alt enter. This is the Got it teacher. Okay, got it, no? Right. Yeah. Then alt enter you can get the oh, see, see here in every file the type of file so within bracket it has three letter or four letter three letter or four letter thing that is called what is that within bracket Excuse yeah inside the file inside the, sorry in the file uh, type of file in front of that within bracket you have three letter or four letter short one short name that is called extension so the first file extension is bmp what is that bmp is a bitmap file zip is zip file or zip folder <coughs> txt is text file 
So how many of you have created Word files, Excel files? Can you create? If not, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files quickly. If you have not done previously, please create in your desktop Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files quickly. Okay, sir. Okay, can you go to properties and tell me the file extensions? Please go to properties and tell me the file extensions of each. What is the extension of Word file? I hope you all are doing right. I hope all, all of you are doing. If not, Sir, what can you find? Extends. No. Extension of Word file. No. Yeah, DOC. DOC. DOC Zero bytes. Zero bytes, no. Sir, docs. D -O -A, D -O -C, yes, yes. D -O. Sir, docs. Yes, correct. What is Excel? What is the extension of Excel? Excel file? XLSX. XLSX. Correct. Very good. Extension of PowerPoint? PPTX. PPTX. Extension of shortcut file? Extension of a shortcut file. Okay, now, now I think you are struggling how to create shortcut. So, but don't create, you can see the shortcuts in the desktop, no? Just right click in the shortcut and go to properties, then you can see the extension of shortcut file. What is that? Can you see? Go to general and you can see. Right. Oh, easy with the method to create a shortcut. There's an easy method to create shortcut. Click on any file, then press Alt key, ALT key, and drag the file some other place. Then it will create a shortcut. Click on any file that you have created. Click Alt key and drag. Alt or bargain and drag karan. One of the file like a shortcut. A shortcut was made. The shortcut taka kadena. Then right click and go to properties. And go to general tab. Go to general tab. Then you can see the file type of shortcut. What is that extension? LNK. 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 You found that, no? I think everyone is following. Sir, me. LNK. Yes, LNK. Correct. Very good. Sir, I couldn't find. Sorry? Sir, Sir I couldn't find. You couldn't find? Have you created shortcut? Yes, sir. How? Come shortcut tech had it. Not, not shortcut, sir. I went to a new folder and got app. Then, from what? Then, what should I do? So, shortcut ka khadan the monkey apu vidya tama the easiest way. Click on any file. First listen, right? Click on any file. Then press Alt key, Alt key, and drag. Then that will create a shortcut for that file. Alt and drag. Then right click, go to properties. Right click, go to properties. There, go to general tab. Go to general tab. There you can see the type of file. That is LNK. Here, LNK. Okay, sir. Right. Okay, now you know the files. Files are having file names and extension, but folders, it doesn't. When you create a folder, right, right click new folder. Okay, then right click and go to properties or press Alt and enter, ALT and enter. Here in the general tab, you can't see any extension. It's only the folder name. It's only the folder name. That's the difference between folder and file. Okay, let's write down this quickly. 
quickly write down this don't draw this files and folders the topic is files and folders right so we will be discussing in the video scroll a little down you want to scroll down this one okay so now okay please write down the heading that is files and folders and quickly write down this note i'll scroll down after you write quickly write down this note files and folders then quickly write don't draw this this is not required no need to draw this because i'll anyway provide this please write down this part and this part quickly i'll give you five minutes right so start writing now questions so for an example text uh, okay text uh, document is a t is it's with txt extension rich text document is with rtf extension and word document with docs extension powerpoint document is with pptx extension excel document is with excel x extension likewise different files are having different extensions and folders are generally folders are not having extensions and so what's the relationship between files and folders it's similar to money and the wallet similar to money and the wallet in the wallet you keep money so similar to that in folders you can keep uh, you can in the for in folders you can keep other folders and files so the relationship between money and the wallet so without money wallet is useless similar to that folders are useless if you don't have files inside the folders right folders are used to organize files in the computer and files contain data important facts so to organize those important facts we use folders so that is the basic thing and uh, the point 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 Uh, belongs to grade six and seven. Belongs to grade six and seven. If you miss that, so what you have to do, you have to just uh, actually go through the grade six and seven books. If not, please come to grade six and seven classes, and so maybe you can memorize that again if you forgot that, right? Okay, I think now we have finished writing. So we can discuss how to create folders and files. the first one is about how to create folders and files very easy you can right click on the desktop right click on the desktop desktop and then new you. then you can select folder or required file type that is method 1 method 2 you can go to command prompt oh the this is method 2 oh you can go to command prompt and then go to desk top folder then go to desktop folder then you can write this command uh by so cd desktop to desk go to the desktop folder then write md abc that that will create abc folder this will create abc folder this is actually this we have learned in grade 7 but if you miss that now you can just remember the things mb m so m make directory md and you can create an if you want to create a new file you can say notepad let's say abc.txt or abc. Um, vbs to create vb script file vbs file notepad abc dot txt to create t <coughs> txt file. 
So likewise, you can create files using Notepad or any editor. Oh, the third one, go to any application and get new file. For an example, if you open MS Word, you can go to File New and it will give a new file. Right? That is the third method. So no need to write this. Actually, I'll send the note to you. Oh, I'll upload this to your yeah, Edmodo. So no need to write this. But you have to remember how to do this. Right? If you have not, uh, so if you cannot remember, let me rem uh, memorize. Let me show this again. Sir, can you show the 10th one? Which one? The 10th one. 10th. Okay, I'll show from the 1 to 10, right? I'll show all these things. Okay, the first one, uh, you know, right click, new file. You can create any file, new, let's say, text document. This is the file that you have created. You can see the properties by pressing Alt Enter. And now you can see it's TXT file. It is using alt enter alt and enter and if you want to create the same using command prompt you can go to command prompt windows button then search command prompt it will show this one then what after going to command prompt what is next yes cd desktop you have to go to the desktop yes cd desktop to change directory to the desktop. Now we are in the desktop because by default in Windows, you are in the desktop, but in command prompt, by default, you are not in desktop. You have to go to the desktop. Then <coughs> MD, let's say MD, hello, that's soon. It will create two folders named hello and that's soon. If you create MD, something like that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it will create eight folders. But if you are the, the same, remove directory, that will remove the file. RD will remove those folders. <coughs> if you write RD, hello, that's one, it will remove hello and that's one folder. RD, grade eight, will remove grade eight folder, this one. And if you want to remove RD, Within quotation, new folder, this one, because if it, if it has space, you have to give inside quotation. New space folder, no? then new folder will be removed. Now all folders are gone. But if you want to remove a file, del, you can say new bitmap image. Dot, okay, LNK, the shortcut will be removed. Del, Within quotation, new bitmap image LNK, this one will be removed. Uh, if you want to remove text document, tell within quotation, new text document. Here, yeah, new text document. Or this one, the shortcut will be removed. Tell new text document dot txt. This will be removed. Dell new bitmap image inside the quotation you can say the file name new bitmap image bmp will be removed then so let's uh, remove the other files so please remember this right how we did that and all it's very important if you want to remove these two files new compressed folder new text document I can write del asterisk dot asterisk. That is dangerous command. It will remove everything. Don't write this command in your machine. All file names and all the, with the all these extensions. Asterisk dot asterisk. All the file names with all the extensions. One shot, enter. And you can see, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You can see everything removed. No files now everything removed right. so you can see all the files these things are in the desktop let's take those decks those things back to this one now nothing in the recycle bin let's try the same command del asterisk dot asterisk 
yes it will remove everything here yeah? it will remove every file, all the files but it keep this file why this was not removed here yeah? hello dot text not removed why yes it says access is denied access is denied let's check why let's go to properties and check why then you can see it's read only if file is read only then you can't delete the file right okay except the read only file is it will remove everything okay now we see how to remove folders how to remove files and all. So that is just from RAID 7. How to edit? That is simple. Open the file and then edit. How to rename? Yes. How to rename? Select the file and press F2. Select the file, yes. Select the file. Click the file and again click it. Yes. Select the file. When, press. We, when we press right click and F2. When we go down, we can select rename, right? Mm -hmm. F2 or Fn plus F2. This is method one. Select the file and again click on the file. Little later. We'll enable your rename. Or you can right click on the file and select rename. Select rename. That will also work. Those are the three methods to rename the file. Let me show the methods. Right click new file text document. I can rename this the first method. Click on the file F2. Press F2. F2 buttons. Keyboard take a F1, F2, F3. <coughs> in, some keyboards, in some keyboards, you have to press Fn and F2 both. In my keyboard, I have to press Fn key and F2 key both. But some keyboards, F2 only will work. F2 with Ragahu, but some of them again F2 will in brightness change, you know. Yeah. It's changing the brightness. So FNF2 will rename. Open like you the way. FN only or sorry, F2 only. F2 only. F2 only. Press F2. Balan F2 press color. All of you have to test this, right? Brightness changed. Sorry. The brightness. Uh, brightness when I say on and then press Fn and F2. Fn and F2 both. Now it's working. Uh, it's working. Right? Always when I'm telling, try to do the same, right? So don't wait. Don't just wait for the others. Because some might do and some might not do. So it is totally your responsibility to do this, right? Please do this. Because uh, that is how you should perform. So let me show two examples of uh, my students. So I can still remember these two students, right? The reason is whatever I said, they have done, they have applied, they did the practicals and they always ask questions, right? But ultimately, this is one of my students and actually he uh, learned from me in 2012 for A-levels his name is Dedunu Dananjaya. So you can just contact him, but he's not in Sri Lanka these days. But you can just contact him if you want and ask about me. He is one who has applied the things practically. And I always like these kind of students because rather than just remembering the things, IT is practical. Now he's working in Estonia as a database engineer. Estonia is a top rank country, you know, top rank country in STEM education. STEM education, top rank country. What is STEM education? Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. 
right? Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So see, uh, see the STEM education rankings. STEM education rankings by country. You can see. So this is actually some countries in STEM education ranking 2019. You don't know the country list is there. So let's take country list. Country list. If you refer the country list, so this is um, okay. This is the country list. You can see Korea, Japan, uh, Switzerland, New Zealand, Estonia. Estonia is uh, holding higher rank, even better than Australia and Canada. So he's working there. Right, one was asking, okay, yes. So the day, uh, yeah, he, that is the, his uh, basically the LinkedIn profile. And uh, there's another one, he's in my Facebook. Let me show him too. And his name is, he's also in the uh, LinkedIn, but I cannot remember the LinkedIn name. In Facebook, his name is uh, Ashan Dananje. Ashan, sorry, Ashan Maduranga. Ashan Maduranga is from Ananda College. Actually, he got second place, uh, island second place in A level ICT. And the previous one I say, I show he got uh, island 36, as I remember. He got uh, this Ashan got island second place. It's from Ola Anandia, got second place, island second place, YCT. And he's working in Cisco Canada as application developer. These two students came to me in year 2011, uh, sorry, uh, the, they do know, I met they do know in 2007. I started teaching him in 2007 and 2011, 2012, I taught him for A-level ICT. And uh, again, same class, Ashan was there. And I can remember these students very well because they did the practical. So they didn't focus much about theories. They always practiced. And now you can see they are in the top rank in positions. That is something to be happy. So always what you have to do is whatever you learn, practice. It's okay to write. But IT is about practicing, right? IT is about practicing. Nothing else. There's another girl recently passed out from uh, Columbia University. And actually she's a lecturer now. Uh, she was special, she has specialized. IT with chemistry, computational chemistry. I cannot remember uh, where she is now. She's also one of my past students. She specialized computational chemistry. And she's the one who's, uh, who did it in the first batch of Columbia University. And I cannot remember her name now, sorry. But likewise, please try to be practical. Learn IT practically. That's really, really important. Okay, then uh, the next thing, right? I think you have done this, right? FN, F2 renaming, no F2 renaming. Then the second method is, sorry, not this. The second method is you can do, what is the STEM rank of Sri Lanka? You just see, yeah? just search and see. Lanka Balan STEM rank in Kiyadakil. So it's very low, it's very, very low. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics ranking of Sri Lanka is very, very low because our system trains students to buy hard things. Matakati again, exam lianatama, pay Kodak systems, karan purudu karani, not for the practical applications. So therefore, our STEM ranking is very low, unfortunately. But other countries are changing this education system and they are. Uh, giving this education system practically. Right. So you have to at least change from your generation. So this has not happened in our generation, but new generation can change it because ICT is they are from grade six now. So that is a big change. So now you can apply ICT to learn other subjects. Okay, so if you disconnect from this, please connect to the same link. Right? If you disconnect, please connect to the same link. Right, the second renaming method, right click, rename. 
and you can rename give the name enter then third renaming method click after some time again click right again click it will give renaming option okay in dos what you can do you can use ren command then the old file name and the new file name that will rename the file here you can see that will rename the file ren old file name and the new file name you can see the name is changing here the old file name and the new file name that is how you rename in command line operating system command line operating system make a run graphical use a kama right click color click color he make run abhi is sir api kare me with it then not me godak linux based operating systems you are doing like this using this command 